Hey everyone, so we're nearing the end of 2022, which is so weird to say. Every single year I like to make a video about weird updates that I want in Bloxburg. Now these are not your typical items like a school or a color wheel. These are personal niche items that I want in the game, so they don't have anything to do with the main game or like the core gameplay. But anyways, I listed nine of them. Let's start with the video. Number one, when a door is locked for guests, I don't want guests to enter that door, even if the door is open. So I see this a lot where people leave their front door open or their back door open or have a lot of doors in their house. I wish there was something that blocked players from entering open doors if they are locked for guests. So for example, you have a secret room or you just want to leave your front door open for some weird reason or your back door open or you want to enjoy the sun you have like big windows at the back of your house that you like to leave open when it's like sunny out i wish if you set these doors to no guests allowed or roommates only that even if those doors are open players would not be able to enter those so it would just act like a wall for players for example they they would just walk into air basically if that makes any sense but just like walking into a wall if the door is open but you still don't want people inside your house you can lock for guests and then only roommates can enter those even if the door is open i'm not making any sense here number two an invisible block that doesn't let people pass now this kind of fits in with the doors for guests only i kind of want that in a type of invisible block as well if you've played minecraft you will know that there is a type of invisible block that you can only see if you are holding the block it would be nice if there was a block that you can place in build mode and that you can only see it in build mode as soon as you leave build mode it kind of disappears like a fence or something an invisible fence would actually be great as well where people can't jump over but i am done with people being in my backyard sometimes i just want to chill in my backyard with some friends and i don't need two three other players jumping in my backyard asking to be adopted or asking for money while i'm just having a barbecue with my friends so being able to place an invisible block or an invisible fence around my garden that kind of works like for friends only or guests only that you can set permissions to it and like your options or something like that but if someone is not a guest at your house or is not a friend of yours they cannot enter that i would love that personally just like a safety block around my garden would be so cool because you spend a lot of time and effort and money in your garden but then you can't enter it because every time you enter your garden there's just some random person staring at you asking for donations or money so you tend to avoid your garden and just stay inside Side. but yes that would be an amazing feature then number three and that one has to do with the closets in game the closets are kind of a mess now if you wear an outfit and then you change your outfit without buying a new outfit slot the clothes you bought before kind of disappear or it's very hard to find them i wish there was a category that showed all of the items you have bought before in your closet and maybe another category that shows all of the items that you have in your avatar so in your roblox avatar catalog so those items as well so that you do not have to buy them again in Bloxburg and you can just wear the outfits that you typically wear but I do wish that there was some kind of distinction between what you have bought before and what you still can buy and then also what you have in your main avatar so on the roblox page i think that would really help people with like cheap outfits because if you bought an outfit before and you want to wear something that you owned of that again you have to look for it and then buy it again because you don't have it on your outfit right now and i just wish that you would be able to see what you have bought before and not pay for that again because you already paid for it number four moving anything you want to your inventory so right now the inventory is quite a mess and with that i also want to add i forgot to mention that being able to sell block bucks items you had before maybe for a little less than what you bought them for but i do want some return on block bucks because right now if you buy something with block bucks it does go into your inventory but you cannot sell it and that's kind of a bummer and also holiday items go into your inventory as well but i wish we could add stuff to our inventory that doesn't necessarily belong there for example we have cars now that are a hundred thousand dollars if i want to move that car from one plot to another i want to be able to put that in my inventory because selling that car will only give me a seventy thousand dollar return and then i have to buy it again for a hundred thousand dollars so i basically lost 
lost a lot of money just by wanting to move a car from one plot to the other, so I wish we could put whatever we want in our inventory and move it to another plot, instead of selling it and then buying it again on another plot. And also, as mentioned, sell block box items you don't want to use anymore because it's so frustrating. <laughs> And then number five, and this ties in with the block bugs that I mentioned before, but being able to grab block bugs items from another plot and move it to the plot you're currently working on without actually loading in the other plot, deleting that item or looking for it on a plot, because a lot of players have 10, 11, 12 plots. They put a car somewhere, they lost it, they completely forgot about it, and then they have to load every single plot to find that car. I wish you were able to at least see where one of your block bugs items is, or a little pop-up that says this car is currently on the name of your plot do you want to take it from there and load it here and then it gets removed from the other plot and gets brought to the plot that you're currently on without actually having to load every single plot however that would be so hard to implement but i think you get what i mean and it would be so useful because i use my cars quite a lot i place them on every single plot and i lose them a lot of the times as well <laughs> it would be useful to be able to just bring them over or at least have it mentioned as to where my car is like in your inventory usually it's like purple when it's a block box item. It would be nice if it was like grayed out and then you could see like where that is and you could load it in via a pop-up. That would be really cool to see, but I know it would be very hard to do as well. Then number six, and this one is kind of stupid, but I did want to mention it. Some more kitchen appliances like a bread machine, a rice cooker, maybe some more cultural items like a tagine. How do you say that in English? Just stuff like that. More kitchen appliances that you can place around. I'm thinking bread machine so you can make a bakery, bake your own bread, slice your own bread, maybe making a sandwich, spreading Nutella or jam or peanut butter on your bread. Something like that. Or a rice cooker so that you can have rice at all times. You know, we, we do have a lot of kitchen appliances, but I am missing some niche items in there if that makes any sense. Number seven, and this one comes back every year. I probably mentioned it in 50 videos already, but small pets and cages that you can decorate. I'm thinking rats, fish, rabbits, guinea pigs, stuff like that, or chickens even and a little cage or pen that you can decorate with a few items. So in my head, what happens is you take like a pre-shaped cage or something like that. There's like different sizes. And then once you place that, you can click it and zoom into it and get in its own little build mode. So it's kind of like build mode in build mode. For example, if you buy an aquarium, you click on the aquarium, you click build on the aquarium and it would kind of let you zoom in on the aquarium and only show items that are fit for the aquarium that you place and then you can buy fish there as well. So it would kind of be its own little build mode in a way. I know that would be so hard to make, but that's like the idea that I have in my head. And especially like small pets like fish don't have to do a lot of animations. They just have to kind of be there, but it would be nice if you could create your own aquarium, your own hamster cage, for example, and it would zoom in and have your own little build mode category with everything that fits into it. Number eight, a height slider on basic shapes. And I'm not talking about stretching your basic shape out so it's bigger. I'm actually talking about making it float to the point where you want it to float. So picking it up, having a height slider, moving it to your desired height, and if you pick it up, it doesn't stick to the ground anymore. Every single basic shape right now sticks to the ground or another item. I wish they were kind of free floating in a way where you could decide their height. And if you pick them up, it would actually stay on that height. For example, if you make a custom door frame and you want to have that floating part above the door, you now have to do it with the carpet method. I wish we could just pick the height and then keep that height. And even if you copy that basic shape, it would stay on the same height unless you decide it has to be lower or higher. A thing that would allow for so much more freedom. For example, making a custom wall or a custom brick wall to your house or kitchen cabinets or floating beds or floating couches or stuff like that. I think it would make it so much easier to just play around with that if we had a height slider and we didn't have to use carpets to make our basic shapes fly. And then number nine, and this is actually quite the simple one, but placing lights without the cord coming out of the ceiling. A lot of people right now are making builds with custom heights or items that float in a room and then under that they want to create a little light. But every time you place the light, there's that long cord that attaches to the ceiling and it comes through your items, especially if you custom build. It is a slight frustration if you want to place a ceiling light. And also if 
you use a slanted roof and you build under that slanted roof, the only place where you can place ceiling lights is at the highest point of that roof. Otherwise, it will come through your roof or just look weird in general. So being able to place lights without the cord coming out of the ceiling would definitely help a lot in freedom of building ceiling lights, especially in builds with custom heights or just rooms where you have a lot of floating stuff and you want to place lights underneath it. I think that would help a lot. So anyways, those are nine features that I want in Bloxburg. Some of them are possible, some of them are impossible, but this is just me dreaming. Let me know something you really want in Bloxburg and are looking forward to, to the day that it comes to the game. I definitely want to know. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Hit that like button and please subscribe.